So there is a clear lack of guns in Dying Light 2 and many people including myself feel that they may just be hidden somewhere within the game. Now we have seen many in-game clues about them, even outside clues about them from devs working on Dying Light 2. But today guys I can confirm that this plot thickens. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So we have seen previous references to guns and a gun stash within side quests within Dying Light 2. Mainly the History Lessons quest, where it's directly spoken about weapons and ammunition being stashed somewhere within the city. Here, if you haven't seen it, check it out on screen now. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So a curfew was put in place and homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Yeah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, yeah, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. There's also another side quest called Missy where a peacekeeper cook speaks of weapons and ammunition being thrown off of their ship which has led people to be thinking that the weapons could be hidden somewhere in water across the game. Here, yeah, check it out on screen now. A seasick peacekeeper? Your central command is based on a friggin' ship. You've never been on that? The Missy? It was my home once, but no longer. Just the sight of it makes me queasy. So you lived on the Missy? Boone, is it? What's the story with this ship? Well, you see, I was surfing on the Missy when it arrived. Come to resupply the army after the city got walled off. No other way to enter Willador than by going up the river at that point. But then, boom! So much shit went down, so fast, you think you are at a pop-up outhouse convention. Not just in the city, but the rioters stormed the ship. It caught us completely off guard. We were under siege on our own ship, nowhere to go. 
Oh, but we weren't gonna let them get their grubby paws on our supplies. No, sir. So we started dumping them overboard. But you dumped everything overboard? Everything. Food, medicine, even weapons and ammo. No way we wanted those to get in the hands of those anarchists. Of course, in the end, that meant no guns for Pratt's army either. Worse still, no ammo and no way to produce more. Rioters had damaged Missy, and at that point, she was dead in the water. Literally. Luckily, I survived, thanks to my special talents. Now, as interesting as this is, we also had the game's design lead say this in reply to someone asking about the lack of guns in this game. So he was basically asked where all the guns are at. He replied with, we decided to focus on medieval ranged weapons, but there's a boomstick you can unlock later. There's also a quest which explains what happened to the guns and that the army could have hidden some in a secret stash. Who knows, maybe the stash will be uncovered. Interesting people. Now the quest he's talking about is no doubt the history lesson one I just showed you. And while from here we have had thousands of people searching the city for more clues as to where these weapons could be. With in-game teases and devs teasing about weapons and a gun stash, a secret gun stash somewhere in the game, people have non-stop been looking. But now, many many days later, a week later, in my opinion it does seem as though there might just be something planned for a future release, basically DLC content where we may see the inclusion of this secret gun stash. I mean, I hope they are still somewhere hidden in the city, but I honestly just ain't optimistic as the amount of people that have been on the case to find these, something surely would have been discovered. Well guys, in actual fact, another clue has been discovered in game, and it comes from the Herald NPC, where he basically states a new discovery has been found, where a renegade has been captured, and he knows where these guns are. Here, yeah, check it out. Today! New developments surrounding a baffling unsolved mystery. Where are our guns? Well, citizens, we may soon have an answer. This morning, a renegade was captured by a peacekeeper patrol on St. Paul Island. He claims to be a former aide of General Pratt. The man who ordered the confiscation of all civilian firearms in the aftermath of the March Massacre in the spring of 2024. As you know, General Pratt ordered all the weapons stored at a secret location. Pratt took this secret to the grave when he died in jail in late 24. But now, his former aide claims that he can reveal the gun's whereabouts. Whether he speaks the truth or lies, hoping for leniency from the peacekeepers, will become clear in the coming days. That is all for now. Citizens, long may you thrive and survive. Good night and good luck. Now after seeing that, and I will say thanks to Revenge on my Discord for that footage, I feel there could actually be a time thing in game we would have to progress to find out more information on said weapons. We have seen such episodes with easter eggs in the past and waiting for said things to progress ain't anything new, it happens with side quests all the time. So this indeed could be the start of something where we actually find this weapon stash or a conclusion as to when they might arrive. But it is interesting for sure. I'd almost given up on looking, but this has seriously piqued my interest again. But yeah, guys, if anything else drops, I will for sure have you covered right here on my channel in regards to this or anything else Dying Light related. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. Let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. Are you still on the hunt? Let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Dying Light, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.